Well, hey there. You know, a few weeks ago, I talked about how that holiness meant to be set apart. Well, set apart for what and why? What else does it mean? That's what I want to talk about today. So welcome to this week's Shabbat Shalom devotional, when I try to share just a little inspiration and bring a little peace to the close of your very busy week. You know, in both the Old Testament and in the New Testament, we are commanded to be holy because our God is holy. And as I said in a previous episode, the root of holy actually means to be set apart. It's to be kept separate and implying unto the Lord for His service. Because He's a holy God, we have to serve Him in holiness. And also in the Old Testament, sometimes the word holy is interchanged with the word clean. So the idea here is that just like vessels and the bowls and the things in the temple had to be kept clean, they uh, were, it means they were set apart in a special status to be used in the worship of God in the temple. And it's the same thing with people. They had to be clean in order to enter the temple and to serve the Lord. Unclean didn't mean so much that they had sinned, but it did mean that they had become contaminated and they needed to go through some kind of ritual purity. I know it's a little technical, but stick with me here. So how do we become clean? Well, the good news is that we are made righteous through the blood of Jesus. So let me read for you 2 Corinthians 5, 21. For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. So Jesus took on our sin. He became sin for us so that through him, we are made righteous with God. We have right standing with God. But there's another side to this holiness issue. And that is that even though we've been made righteous through Christ, we are responsible for keeping ourselves clean and keeping ourselves set apart from the world so that we can serve him. I want to read to you from 1 Thessalonians 4, starting in verse 3. It says, For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you should abstain from sexual immorality. And then it elaborates on that. So you need to abstain from sexual sin in order to stay sanctified. And at verse 7, he says, For God did not call us to uncleanness, but in holiness. So the point is this, holiness is not just a state bought by the blood of Jesus, which it is, but it is also a state that we need to keep ourselves in and we need to be careful so that we can serve the Lord. I want to close with reading Romans 12, 2. It says, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. We are to protect ourselves and to not be conformed by the world, but to come apart, be different, and be transformed into His holy presence where we take on His holiness, that we are righteous before Him. That is the other side to holiness. So this weekend, give it some thought. Are there areas in your life that you are being conformed by the world instead of being transformed and renewing your mind and walking in the holiness and the righteousness that Jesus bought for you? And with that, I want to wish you a Shabbat Shalom.